transporting livestock is a lot harder than transporting anything else. Because you can't kill a cow. Jody, I'm so sorry. I'm on right now. Please don't get upset. I'm on 439. Is that wrong? Yeah. Whoever said anybody can be a shipper obviously doesn't know this girl. I'm already nervous about picking this camel up, and now I can't even find where this farm is. Hey, guys, do y'all live here? Do y'all know where Rowdy lives? Who the hell's Rowdy? <laughs> what the f***? Honestly, I don't know where I'm at. My GPS is off. Sometimes these things take you. I'm going to be on my next run by the time she finds that camel. <laughs> Recalculating. We are an hour and 40 minutes later than we said we were going to be there. I'm a little stressed. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, I'm, I'm Rowdy. so sorry about How was your trip? It was good. Got a little lost. Rowdy is like the king of camels. We have uh, over 50 camels in our collection. Do they just shed for the summer and stuff? They shed once a year. Yes, this is winter coat that's coming off right now. Man, that is one mangy looking camel. Well, here's your camel. It's a male. OK. Yeah, they're a lot nicer than the girls. Right away, I know this guy is going to be a hard Didn't you say you were going to take a quick camel ride so I you'd be more familiar with a camel? I would like to. Have you ridden a horse before? Yes, sir. As a rookie, I'm constantly having to prove myself. You ready? Why is he making that noise? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Just handle him like you would your boyfriend. <laughs> the things people get themselves into, I can't believe it. All right, you ready? The front end's going to go down quick. Ah! Oh, Push. 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 Oh, How was it? My butt. Livestock are a pain in the <laughs> ass. You're doing it. Come on. When you're traveling, he's tensed up, so he, he needs to stop. The best care for this camel is to stop about every hour and a half. That way he can eat, drink, stretch his muscles. Every hour and a half? You've got to be me. He needs a half hour to an hour break now and then. The problem with livestock is they're alive. I had no idea camels were such divas. Keep me posted. I will. Thank you. What did I get myself in? Yeah. This is only supposed to take two days. I just added hours onto my trip. I just have a bad feeling about this. Mm. I am shipping this camel from Oklahoma to Vermont. It is taking forever. Are you thirsty? Mm. The shipper's instructions were to stop every hour and a half so the camel couldn't relax. <gasps> That's disgusting. I got to wipe my feet off. I'm going to try and drive as much as I can today and tonight. My biggest fear is opening that door. It's not alive. Oh, that's pretty. Is this something famous I should know? Being on the road that much, the one positive thing I liked about it is I got to see a lot of the country. Hey, babe, I'm driving through St. Louis. What's that arc in St. Louis? It's called the arc. It blows my mind how stupid some people can be. <laughs> see, I learn something new every day. This run was only supposed to be two days, and now it looks like it's going to be much longer than that. I was seriously behind schedule. Oh, honey, you're thirsty, aren't you? Uh, we're in such a rush to get this camel there by noon tomorrow. I'm hoping to drive through the night and get as far as I can. I just want to get there. The camel was cute and all, but it was a pain in the ass having to stop that much. I got a treat for you. It was getting really old. Now, don't choke on that while we're driving. I know it's going to be a long day, but I got to pee. The gas station restroom was disgusting, so peeing in the trailer was a lot better. I have to go inside. I know it's totally redneck, but I don't care. You got to appreciate a woman that can pee in a trailer. Hey, honey. Can you close your eyes? That's a good southern girl. Ah! It's biting the top of my head. It's going to eat me. Hi. Jennifer, nice to meet you. Do y'all want to go see him? Sure. We have just one other camel, but we've got 70 alpacas. What are y'all going to do with the camel? We'll be doing rides at carnivals and fairs. Uh -huh. You ready to get out? Come here. Man, I got to attach that camel. I'm really going to miss him. Oh, he's like, I'm free. Oh! Man, if I were that camel, I'd be pissed, too. Will he, will he come back? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That really freaking hurt. Come on. <laughs> oh, he just gave me a look. I'm going to miss you. I'm not sure the feeling was mutual. What a good guy. He was getting a nice new home, and I was getting some money in my pocket. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Yeah, have a good night, OK? Thank you. Hey, how are you? <laughs>
I'm Jarrett. Dave Meeks. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Got some hauling some monkeys. Yes, you are. <laughs> this is Petey, and that's Lizzie in there. Have you ever shipped monkeys before? I have not. This will be a Ooh. first. I, I love dogs. Jared Joyce, everybody. Instilling confidence in everyone he meets. It's just gonna be a couple of things that you absolutely don't do. I wanna know those. Okay, if you open that cage and let one of them out, you probably won't like monkeys tomorrow. Don't let monkeys run around in my brand new bus. No arguments here. When you stop, hit a rest area. Give them a few treats then and offer them some water. If you start messing, you put your finger in there. Yes, they might bite your fingers. All right. I'm pretty sure biting wasn't on the description of this load. All right, let's go. Did he punch him? Oh, it's OK. Awesome. There we go, Pete. Am I bleeding? This monkey just earned my respect. Liz, Lizzy, Lizzy, Lizzy. Perfect. You sleep in the hammock? <laughs> yeah, that is where I sleep. I wouldn't. I believe I'd be at a hotel. Mm. He's probably right. Sleeping with a monkey an inch away from my face is probably not a good idea. Thank you again. Thanks, buddy. Have, have a good day. You too. Y'all ready to go? Oh, we're here, kids. Apparently, there is not a hotel in the country that allows monkeys. Just wondering if you had any rooms available for tonight. We do. So I guess I'm going to have to sneak these guys in. You got to be quiet. It's all right. <sighs> Monkeys, chill out. Shut up. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Jared's in over his head. Oh, my god. If I let you out, are you going to be quieter? You going to be good if I let you out? Here, I can't stand it anymore. Hey, that worked. Oh, thank god. Why didn't I just do this in the first place? Look how good y'all are being. So much quieter. I can almost relax now. What's that seller know about monkeys? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Look. Can I pet you? You're dropping chips everywhere. No, no, no. Don't unlock the door. No. Come on, monkeys. Can't go out. No. No. No, what, what are you doing? No, stop, stop, stop. I think I'm learning that fun as a barrel of monkeys is sarcasm. Uh oh. No, 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 no. That's. And this is what cages are for. Come here. Come here. Down. I gotta put you up. What am I gonna do? I can believe this. Welcome to my nightmare. That is it. It's time I outsmarted these things. Look what I got. Look, I got a muffin. Don't fall for it, Petey. There's tons of other food on the ground. It's a muffin. It's a muffin. Right, come on. You want a muffin? Come on. Oh, thank God. Get kicked out of here. There's nowhere to run, monkey. Come on. Ow. There's no business like monkey business. <sighs> yes, sir. Can I come in and take a look around? Are those monkeys? I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but this is, uh... I'm, I'm so sorry. I, it's a little late for that now. I don't know what you and the monkeys have been doing in here. What haven't they been doing in this room? We will charge you for the cleanup, and you're going to need to vacate the premises. I understand. This is gonna be a great night. This is it. Hey, how are you? I'm Jared. I'm Lauren. Well, how do they look? Do they look as healthy and good? They look great. There you go. Appreciate you getting here. Thank Stay. you very much. 
two pro rodeo bulls. Known for their mean temperament and aggressive behavior, these menacing bulls tip the scales at over 1,200 pounds each. This prized livestock requires special handling as they travel over 1,000 miles from Decatur, Texas to their new home in Payne, Ohio. Hi, Sean. Hey, I'm Jennifer. Doing? So what do you do out here? Uh, we just raise buck and bulls, compete them as PBRs, bring them to the finals. This might not have been a good idea. What makes them so mean? They're inbred, so it kind of makes them, oh. you know what I'm saying? They'll hook your ass. I feel sorry for the cowboy that gets on these suckers because they are meaner than hell. Have you ever sorted buck and bulls before? Unfortunately, we had to sort those two out from the herd to put them on my trailer. Let me run them down here. Stay right there, hon. <laughs> I don't think you can be any more serious or dangerous than this. I'm scared of this. This is one case I'm glad she outbid me. Told you I wasn't messing with you. These things are way crazier than I expected. Hey, hey. They can kill me. I'm about to throw up. Jennifer, you ready? 640. Hey, hey, hey. All right, close that cam. Good job. What have I got myself into? OK, we're going to come out of the pen, and we're going to lock them in that, down there, OK? Right when we open this gate, these bulls are going to know, and they're going to come bolting out this way. This guy's been in this for 20 years. Now I've got 20 minutes to learn how to handle these bucking bulls. You're going to have to do this and get in the pen with these bulls, because you're going to have to do it when you're on the road by yourself. Better to do it now. You know, at least I'm here. These bulls were bred for one thing, to kick your There. I have a bad feeling about this one. Five, six, three. Hey, hey, hey. I got a bad feeling about this one, too, sweetie. Load up in there. Cut it. You're going to be in for a real bumpy ride. That's going to be really tough on you. This is a really nice trailer and all, but it's not set up for this. So are they going to be OK in the trailer? For how long? We got three days. You can't leave them in there. Would you want to be locked in there for three days? Every evening, you're going to have to let these bulls out somewhere. Does it matter? But you're going to have to load them by yourself now. So I can't just, like, shoot them? Uh, you don't understand when yeah. you can't even get close to these. It's going to be an experience. Usually, I'm worried about the livestock dying on me. This is a case where I'm the one that might end up dead. This is Jennifer. I'm the one hauling the bulls. I got in contact with you about keeping them overnight for me. Yeah. I'm so glad I finally found a place to put these bulls up for the night. Come on. Come on. There you go. They like you. You made it look so easy. If I had to do this by myself, I don't think I could have done it. Well, don't sell yourself <laughs> short, you know. I'm trying not to. I've never done this before. I'm so glad it went smoothly. Good night, guys. Okay, start straightening her out. Oh! Is it straight? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Jen. I run into stuff all the time. I don't know where they were born and raised, but they seem a little hot-blooded. <laughs> yes. For them to say they're hot, it scares me even more. Let's go. These bulls are so crazy, I can't wait to get rid of these things. Come on, your friend's back here. Come on. I'm thinking, how am I going to do this again? Oh, my goodness. I've just got to get through one more night of loading and unloading these bulls. Wish me luck. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a total nightmare and a bunch of bulls. Another thing that's tough is I have to stop and keep feeding these guys. I'm running about five hours behind as of now. You really can't be on time when you're traveling with livestock. They're eating their alfalfa, it looks like, ooh, and he's taking a big dump. Don't rub it on the wall. Let's face it. In this job, you're going to deal with a little bullshit every once in a while. But Jen, you're taking it to a whole nother level. Poop all over the wall, and it's like literally this hot. It's like they exploded. You know, she may only weigh a buck ten, but I'll tell you what, she's got more balls than some of the guys I know. There you go, keep turning that way. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna miss those bulls, y'all. They've, they've become part of me. That's the biggest load of bull I ever heard. There's 100. 200. Thank y'all. Get ready to witness some amazing ship. Come on, Mama. We got a deadline. Shipping Wars is back. And